Welcome to this week's tech tip. Uh, this week we're going to look at Google Reverse Image Search. This is a wonderful tool that Google provides that allows us to check the authenticity of images, to see where they might have originated from, to see if they were used elsewhere. So I am in the Chrome browser. I tend to like that. This works well. And you can do this with any image that you find online, but a lot of times it's sort of stuff on social media that, that we want to really uh, test. So any image online will work. And if I right click on an image or control click, or, uh, and I go down and I select search image with Google Lens, Google begins to do a search for this image. And so now I can see this image and down here it also includes all the pages that include the matching image. So all of these, if I click on one of these, it'll bring me to uh, an article or a site that uses this image. Now furthermore, what you can also do is you can actually move and focus in on particular parts of the image. So if there was something superimposed or seemed like it was uh, uh, added to the image, you can even do that so that you can really focus in on certain aspects of the image. And you can see over on the right here how, how it's changing. So now I've focused in on this truck and it's just looking for trucks and similar images to it. So that's a reverse image search using Google and just doing a right click. Now you can do a reverse image search also from Google Images by clicking on images. If you click on the camera and you can upload an image. So if I took a screenshot, I can do it in the same way or I can just paste the image URL. And it's as simple as just right clicking on the image and then copying the image address. A reverse image search can also be performed using a mobile, so a phone or an iPad. And to learn more about this, there is a URL on the last slide that will link you to some more resources.